Hi everybody, let's practice translation. English to Spanish translation exercise. Okay, I'm gonna give you a sentence in English and then you gotta tell me the translation in Spanish. Remember that we are going to use pluscuamperfecto de subjuntivo. How would you say in Spanish? I would have liked to go to the party, but I couldn't. Tres, dos, uno. Me hubiera gustado ir a la fiesta, pero no pude. A ver más participio pasado. Expresa un deseo de una condición irrealizada en el pasado. Siguiente traducción. How would you say in Spanish? If you had arrived sooner, we would have waited for you. Si hubieras llegado antes, te habríamos esperado. Oración número 3. How would you say in Spanish? I was surprised that you didn't come to my birthday. Me sorprendió que no hubieras venido a mi cumpleaños. ¿Qué? Más hubiera más participio pasado. Expresa una sorpresa o una incredulidad en el pasado. Siguiente oración. How would you say in Spanish? I would have liked you to have told me the truth. Me hubiera gustado que me hubieras dicho la verdad. Siguiente oración. How would you say in Spanish? I wish I had had more time to prepare. Ojalá hubiera tenido más tiempo para prepararme. Siguiente oración. How would you say in Spanish? I'm glad you weren't there. Me alegro de que no hubieras estado allí. Siguiente oración. How would you say in Spanish? I would have liked you to have helped me. Me hubiera gustado que me hubieras ayudado. Remember that we also can use me hubieses ayudado. And this is more used in Spain. Latin America, we use a lot eh, hubieras instead of hubieses. But this, in, this is interchangeably between us. We can say either hubieras or hubieses. And they can say also that. Okay, última oración. How would you say in Spanish? I would have liked you not to have said that. Me hubiera gustado que no hubieras dicho eso. ¿Qué más hubiera más participio pasado? Expresa un deseo o una condición irrealizada en el pasado. Follow for more and subscribe. And let me know below in the comments how many did you get.